Design changes are underway for the use of the Bayraktar TB-3 UAV on the TCG Anadolu amphibious assault ship. The space behind the elevator is closed while the sky jump section of the ship is extended. Defense Industry President Ismail Demir said regarding the TCG Anadolu and Bayraktar TB-3. The Bayraktar TB-3 UAV which can land and take off on ships with short runways will make its maiden flight this year. Then, the integration of the Bayraktar TB-3 UAV into the Anadolu multi-purpose amphibious assault ship will begin. In the image shared by the Defense Industry Presidency, it can be seen that there are some differences in the design of the Anadolu TCG. The sky jump path, which allows aircraft to take off is extended, and the space behind the lift, which allows platforms to be placed inside the ship, was closed. Bayraktar TB-3 will have at least six weapon stations in total. Bayraktar TB-3 will be able to carry a total of six MAM-L and two MAM-C at the same time, it seems that the wings can be folded close to the point of the weapon station. As in Bayraktar TB-2, a three-blade propeller will also be used in TB-3. Looking at the design, it can also be said that the TB-3 will have a SATCOM. In statements made by Selchik Bayraktar in recent months, we are developing an aircraft called Bayraktar TB-3, which can land and take off from aircraft carriers wings fold, land on aircraft carriers, and can carry heavier ammunition, around 1,200 kg. The Bayraktar TB-3 UCAV is an armed unmanned aerial vehicle system, currently under development by Baker itself and capable of taking off and landing on aircraft carriers with short runways. In addition to reconnaissance, surveillance and intelligence missions, the UCAV Bayraktar TB-3 can launch strike operations with smart munitions deployed under its wings. The Bayraktar TB-3 is able to carry out armed operations overseas in part due to special capabilities, such as the foldable wings that allow it to be used on aircraft carriers. The Bayraktar TB-3 can be operated remotely thanks to its line-of-sight and beyond line-of-sight communication capabilities.